shake your booties for black girl nerds. Thank you for your time, Lucas. Thank you. You look, you look you, fabulous, by the way. Thank you so much. So do you. Thank your, you. Char your character is just so handsome, so charming. He can cook. He's romantic. Does he have <laughs> any real flaws? Are we going to see any flaws from him this season? Well, I think if we can consider that a flaw, uh, he's, he's chinging on, on his girlfriend. That's, that's pretty big. Um, Fair enough. I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe it, it, it is not for you at that particular moment and you want to see more about the Emily Gabrielle chemistry. Mm -hmm. But I would say that's his only flaw that is, is kind of lost and is willing to, you know, um, betrayal his principles and values just for the curiosity of, what, of what's next with Emily. Mm -hmm. There's still such a, I mean, it's a flaw. Yes, absolutely. But there's still such a romantic quality about it, especially since the messaging is like, oh, it's okay to have an affair or have a, you know, little girlfriend on the side. Is that truly <laughs> representative of French culture that everyone is in love with each other all the time? I think it's representative of French culture, but the world culture, I think, uh, you know, uh, um, and monogamy is really new in the history of, of, of humans. And uh, um, it's, for me, it's really close to what our generation are experiencing now. There's so much information and access to different things and people. And, and I, I feel like it builds up to wanting more and uh, not being able to settle to something. You know, when something's broken, we just replace it. We don't want to fix it. So I think it's representative to, to a general state of mind that is uh, the world now. Absolutely. Absolutely. With this, you know, you are working with Darren Starr, who is legendary in Hollywood, super duper uh, responsible <laughs> for some really super duper popular store, uh, stories over time. How has this experience been for you? What's been most enjoyable about filming for you? Um, first of all, rediscovering my city through his, his vision. Um, after 15 years here, just being able to be like a little kid in a candy store and just you know, uh, being amazed by a city I walked on before, but not seeing really the potential and and just being able after that to surf that wave of just, you know, ecstatism uh, for months after after the show. And, and also just to find out how an icon can be such a nice, genuine, you know, humble person uh, is, and he made me part of the writing process by, you know, uh, just let, letting, uh, just consulting me about like French culture and things we wouldn't say or say. And uh, it's, it's, everything was a blast, you, you know, is a, is just a human being with just this bubble of uh, colors and, and love and sex and romance. And it's, it's just a joy every time to be part of it is, is I think I'm really grateful about it. I, I enjoyed it so much. So one last question if I'm going to order the most authentic French meal I could possibly have in <laughs> Paris, what should I, what should I order? Uh, it depends of, on, on, there's two types of authentic. There's authentic back in the days and authentic now because, you know, uh, Paris is a world city. So I would say um, uh, curry, cocoa, risotto with gambas. Mm. Mm. Just and the way you said line. it sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I enjoyed your role in this and I can't wait for everybody else to get a chance to see it too. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a wonderful day. Bye. You Bye -bye. too. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.